Hello everyone, and welcome to the weekly live stream. As you know, we are in the third and final phase of reopening for full-time in-person instruction, and we're pleased to announce that things have been proceeding well. On Monday of this week, we began welcoming back all remaining middle and high school students, and we were thrilled to restore this bit of normalcy back to the schools. We remain so very grateful to everyone for following district protocols throughout the school year. These protocols have allowed us to be where we are today. Late last week, the CDC put out revised guidelines. And although the CDC revised the six feet of distance to three feet in order to allow districts to bring students back, the Nassau County Department of Health emphasized that CDC's definition of close contacts remains six feet and for 15 minutes for contact tracing. Thus, the Department of Health will continue to use this definition for quarantine purposes. And while districts have a choice to move the distance closer and to, and to choose to bring students back, there is no choice in defining close contact and quarantine. We are directed to follow the Department of Health and their per quarantine parameters. So please continue to follow safety guidelines and practice good respiratory hygiene. Let's remain vigilant as a community so that we can finish out the school year strong. As a reminder, up-to-date information can be found on the front of our webpage and in our FAQs. We are still in the middle of a pandemic and safety will remain our top priority. Last month, we were pleased to propose our budget for the fiscal year 2021-2022. This included a 0% tax levy increase, and our focus for this budget include academic support in reading and math, social, emotional, and mental health services, and maintaining a culture of excellence in the RBC schools. And in other news, we were excited to premiere the first installment of our new digital docuseries, RBC Plus. Last week, we took a look at Black History Month programming all throughout the district, and we're looking forward to bringing you more great content about RBC schools in this series on our website, YouTube channel, and social media feeds. Additionally, keep your eye out on our social media feeds for installments of our new micro video series, the RBC Minute. The Minute will bring you important news, information, and other district content in quick 60-second episodes that will regularly feature some familiar faces from all around our great school district. Thank you again to everyone for helping us get to this point. And we are proud of our students and grateful for our teachers, staff, and school community. That's all for now. And as spring break approaches, please stay safe and be well.